Hey guys, so today I have a really massive Lush haul. I have been big into Lush for quite a few years, I'd say around five, six years, and every holiday season I go a little berserk. I really, really, really love their holiday scents. They always come out with a couple new ones every year, and then they have their rotating favorite, and it's just such a big tease, but I fall for it every single year. <laughs> The holidays are really the only time that I do like a huge Lush haul. I'll pick up bits and bobs here and there every so often while I'm in the mall. So I'm going to just start off by saying I grabbed Hot Toddy. I grabbed this one the last time that I went in and made an order. I had a very small haul that time so I didn't feel the need to show you guys and plus I just was going to hop in the bath with them anyways. But this Hot Toddy I've been using as a bubble bath, uh, mostly on my cats, which is weird allowed to use non-animal tested things on your animals? Probably. <laughs> I don't see why not. This one is like a super spicy, almost like, there's almost like an alcoholy flavor smell to it. I don't know if that's supposed to be like cider or what, but it's like super bang on. One of my absolute favorite smells are spicy holiday <laughs> smells. Okay, so let's just be honest here. This is my ultimate, 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 ultimate favorite Lush smell of all time. And that is the Cinder's Bath Bomb. If you guys have ever had their holiday line before, I'm sure you've tried this one. Or someone talked you into it before. Once again, a very spicy, warming holiday smell. I've already burned through three of them, and on this round... I grabbed three more because I think they're only about five, four or five dollars, so can't go wrong. And they have little pop rocks in them, so it's like, ah, so exciting. Although with the pop rocks, it does make me a bit nervous because I've been told to leave any sugary things away from my lady bits. Otherwise, I'm sure you girls know what'll happen. Never had a problem with that, so I'm just gonna hope that that just never becomes a problem. <laughs> This one is also a repurchase. Oh, I just grabbed like the three spiciest things that there are. Um, this little bubble bar had little hollies on top, but they crumbled in my bag while I was going to work. I don't know what this one is called. It's just a big massive slab of silver glitter with the holly on top. Um, there's a lot of green inside, so it makes your bath like a super rich green color. I cut this one in half and use it twice because it's so massive. This little guy is a, uh, a, you know, like a, I think this might be the third year this one's been around, or maybe just second, I'm not sure. It is also a bubble bar. You just swish it around in your tub. This one, however, is reusable. It dries up, so you can use it again instead of becoming mush like most of the other ones. Uh, it has the uh, signature snow fairy scent and it is wonderful, like, uh, I love it so much. I used to hate snow fairy scent, but it really kind of snuck up and grew on me. Oh well. Hmm. This next one here has a bunch of shooting stars on it. Just a bath bomb. Also not sure of the name. I used to be really into what they were called, but this year I haven't really cared. I just want to put it in the bath. <laughs> um, it has like a really comforting, warmy smell. Fresh laundry, kind of, like when you wash your blankets and then you just like cover yourself in them while they're still warm. That's what this one smells like to me. Next up is this other little star. I wonder if I could like put it on top of my tree from here. I'll like totally cover it. That's not gonna work. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> This one's a bath melt, so it's just gonna get like super oily in your bath. Obviously super sparkly, because this guy is sparkling up the joint. It smells really citrusy. I'd say like orange lemon, but not like that le like pledge lemon smell where it's just like overwhelming. Just a light, a light citrus smell. Now I'm covered in glitter! Ugh. If it's not on my face, then get it off of me. Oh, great. Another glittery one. <laughs> this one is also a melt. It's a little sn angel. I'd like to say snow angel because it's white. The back is just covered in gold glitter. 
This one is also a melt, however it's more of like a foamy melt. It doesn't melt into the oilish. it kind of like foams up a little bit. Oh, so good, it smells like the snow cake soap. Almond smell, marzipan. Oh man, I was like really obsessed with that snow cake for a while and my mom put a marzipan bar in my uh, <laughs> stocking once because I had never tried it before. Which is pretty good. I love almonds, so how can it not be good? <laughs> so much glitter on me. Stop this. This next one is pretty boring looking. It's just a big old white ball. I'm pretty sure these ones last year were half the size and half the price. But it's so good. I feel like I could just like cut it right in half on the seam. Use it twice. Just has that really fresh apple scent. And I love apple scents so much. I hear there's actually like little moisturizing pellets in here too. Like little little melt inside maybe maybe that's not this one I'm not too sure and this one here is um, Phoenix Rising I actually do know this one's name for once it came out with the Halloween collection and they're keeping it around throughout the holidays thank goodness oh it is like one of the best smells ever I feel like it's almost a little bit earthy I'm not usually a huge fan of earthy scents but this one is something else you guys gotta check this one out <sighs> and if I do remember I think it turns your bath like a super dark purple color mmm this smells so good so that's really all I decided to pick up from the holiday collection so far um super super excited that they're actually like they brought out the hallow not Halloween well yeah they brought out the Christmas stuff with the Halloween collection release so we finally got like an extra month worth of use out of these. <laughs> I know a lot of Lushies were like super, super, super pissed that they always only bring it out for December and that's it. And then like you don't even get a chance to try the items before the big sale happens. So you just kind of like hoard everything because you need it all and... <sighs> Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know, have you guys had anything from this holiday line collection? Anything new that you really like? Or anything that you wish they would bring back? I'm super curious to know. Uh, leave it all in the comments box below and I will make sure to get right back at you as soon as possible. Make sure you give this one a like if you liked it. I, I just, your guys' feedback is amazing. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and have a good night.